Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Got another Guild War for you guys. And of course, we have the joke of the day from Icarus. Uh, I grilled the chicken for 30 minutes. <laughs> he still won't tell me why he crossed the road. <laughs> he thought it was going to be a barbecue, but no. It was actually interrogation. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and jump into this uh, first battle. So these defenses are actually quite nice because it allows me to test some buffed units. Um, today we're going to try to test Arunka in various situations, the first being against this Arawal, Bellion, and Aiden team. Now the, what I want to test here is the Escort buff from the Arawal and the Evasion from Aiden. Uh, all these are light units, so Arawal grants a barrier to everyone at the start of the battle. Unless this guy's absolutely insane and actually didn't awaken that in the skill tree, in which case I guess we just die. But I'm gonna bring in Arunka, and I, I re-geared my Arunka. She used to be on a Lifesteal Bruiser build, now she's on a Speed Pen set on a Bruiser build. Uh, she's me meant for RTA, she's not meant for just like nuking things. Uh, in Guild Wars or Arena, but we're gonna see how she works in Guild Wars with this type of build. I mean, I see people reaching things like 6,500, 7,000 attack on her. Um, and I'm running her on Ubeerus' Tooth. Now, if you really want to get additional damage, uh, one amazing artifact, actually I probably should use it here, because Ubeerus' Tooth is pretty good for uh, RTA, but yeah, this right here, uh, a little queen's huge crown, because you increase damage dealt uh, when you use a single target attack, and it increases dealt further when there is a barrier, so this is actually amazing, it drops my attack a little bit, but it's absolutely amazing into this kind of team. Uh, so let's go for that and let's test it out. I'm bringing in Ahmed, she's going to be my fast um, attack buffer here. I don't have any other really speedy attack buffer, but yeah, she's going to get the job done. This crit damage buff is not going to do anything if it does go off, so that's kind of sad, but it's okay. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, turn cycle and Axe God can get the second buff. But Axe God is going to be here because, of course, we have Arbol and Bellion. They're going to be attacking into him, and he's going to provide us some combat readiness, turn cycling, and damage. For the bottom team, we're going to begin C. Lilius, Shu, and Senya. So I'm going to bring in one of my favorite teams against this, and it's going to be a C. Lilius team. So with C. Lilius here, we're going to have Emil Kawazu, who's going to take the provokes from the opponent's C. Lilius. So even though my C. Lilius is not that fast, it does not matter. Um, you can go first or second with this uh, this team, and it and it still works out. Now my Zahawk is a little slower than most people's nowadays, but he is pretty heavy on the damage, and he does have a cleanse that can help the Kawazu cleanse off the provoke and the attack down. So let's jump into it and see how it goes. Zahawk should be able to take care of the Shu, meanwhile the Kawazu can take care of the Senya. Alright, look, everyone here has a barrier, which is very nice. That's actually a pretty fast Arwell. But let us go ahead and attack buff our Arunka. I want to see what she can do here against this Aiden. Very excited. All right, we got the swift attack buff. Let's go in onto her, even if we miss. I hope we miss. Oh, we don't miss. But how much damage do we do? Oh my god. <laughs> That's 21k damage with the escort buff sharing. That is quite insane. And we get to reset. Hang on just a second here. Do you think we can kill the Arwal, or do we kill the Bellion, too? If we can do 21k on that Aiden... You know what, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go straight for the Arwal here. Oh my god, no! Hey, <laughs> look at that! <laughs> the damage is insane! Now, Bellion still keeps her barrier, so we get to see what Arunka's damage is like without the um, without the attack buff here. Oh, actually, no, we're getting provoked, aren't we? Mmm, that kind of sucks. Uh, but we do get the extra proc, nice little damage there from the S1. Wow, buffed Arunka is looking real nice. Now, there's no barrier on the Bellion this time around, so I'm going to go ahead and give this buff to Axe God. Let him have a chance to shine here. Uh, no, ooh, no, um, no crit damage buff there. I'm just gonna go for an S1. 
I'm gonna save that S3 for later in case we need to finish off the Bellion. But look at that, even her S1 damage is pretty decent. Let's go for the S3, and that's with a defense buff to, uh, Bellion, right? There you go, got that defense break there, pretty nice. Now, I think Axe God should be able to finish things off. Let's go. Yeah, there we have it. Arunka! Getting that S3 reset now actually matters quite a bit. So that's pretty good. And also, I just hit my hand on the table accidentally, so sorry about that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so actually my Seal Lilius is faster than my opponent's, but it works out regardless because you can, if you go first, you can always push back your opponent's Seal Lilius. Alright, so let's go ahead and push her back here. Alright, so there you go. Uh, we can just go ahead and push up the Kawazu. We have the Vigor buff. And let's go in on the shoe. Now, there is no Vigor buff on my opponent's side, which is perfect, which means the shoe doesn't get that extra defense. So she should go down to my Zahawk's nuke. And Kawazu should, again, likewise, uh, take down this Senya here. So let's go for the S3. She's gonna proc her um, Grace. Ooh, we actually don't get the third burn from the Indestructible Gators, but we managed to get the kill regardless, so it did not matter. There we go, nice little damage from the Zahawk. We'll soul burn this to finish things off. And there you have it. Very clean matches here. Very excited about Arunka. Wow, I, even on a miss, that S3 would have definitely killed that Aiden. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our second match. The middle tower is a little strange. They have an Arunka profile picture, though, so that's kind of nice. Uh, the first team is going to be Lua, Rimuru, and Meru. Rimuru and Meru are kind of annoying to deal with, but Lua thrown into the mix makes it even worse. So we're going to bring in my Fire Lilius, and she's going to be a Mort's Artifact, the Ancient Dragon's Legacy. So I can go ahead and reset the cooldowns of my... My, um, undo the cooldown reset of my opponent's Lua, essentially. Now, it doesn't matter if she hits uh, the Lilius or the Milum, because Lilius can cleanse the Milum. My Lilius is quite fast, and my Milum is decently slow. Uh, sub 200 speed, so that should work out quite well. Crown is going to be here to tank the Rimuru as always, a very hefty build, and we're going to be on some mitigation with Aureus. Uh, Milam's S3 should be able to finish off the uh, Meru because of the extinction, and we can de-stealth the Lua if she is on Guiding Light. Right, for the bottom team here, this is what makes it so tricky. My opponent has Ron, Senya, and Fire Lilius. Now, I wanted a way to proc this Senya's barrier in a reliable fashion, so I get two chances if I bring in my Ed, which I accidentally deleted from my team. Uh, Ed here, once Ron goes and debuffs my team, uh, Ed will be able to counter, right, and that hit, if it fails to proc the Senya's barrier, aka if it crits, but uh, Ed is pretty fast, so he will be taking the turn, and he'll be able to hit the Senya again to see if she can proc a barrier. Once the barrier procs, Arunka can go in, and we can see how much damage she does to the Senya, which would be quite nice. And of course, we have DJB here for the cleanse and push. I'm hoping to go after the Ron goes, but that only really happens if he debuffs Ed and lands two debuffs, because otherwise, uh, DJB's Eternus won't really kick in. It shouldn't really matter, because I don't think that Fire Lilius is going to be that fast. But let's ju just uh, jump into it and see how it plays out, as we always do. Uh, ooh, this guy's actually going for my Milum first. Unlucky, but it's okay, because again, Fire Lilius will be able to reset the cooldowns, and we'll be able to S3, so it's no big deal. Alright, we're going to hit that Lua, and she is going to resist, which kind of sucks. But now the Reamer is going to go, and it's going to suck even more, because we've got a crit damage buff on our Lilius, which means uh, he's going to uh, hit quite hard, because he gets a crit damage buff now for the whole team. Alright, so at this point, uh, Milam should be going before the Meru on the other side. Okay, uh, yes, uh, we do go before, because Meru pushed herself up with her S1, but now I'm a little iffy. That barrier seems pretty big, and I don't know if this will actually kill. 
but we go for it anyway, and it doesn't. She actually counters instead, which is awful because now she gets an attack buff and a crit damage buff. She crits the crow as well, so that's always very welcome. Let's see if we have to go ahead and finish off the mirror now. The good thing is, uh, the Lua will always be going after the Milum or the C or the Fire Lilius here. So in this case, Fire Lilius, because she has lower health. Oh, that is a nasty dual attack. Please don't proc magic for friends. Very nice, got that kill. And now, uh, we should be able to just punch this Rimuru. There we go. And with the S2, we get defense buff, and we get to finish him off. There we go, not too bad, not too bad. Even even though we got quite unlucky there, we did get quite lucky though, uh, with no magical friends. We, we hit a couple counterattacks in the mirror, but count my blessings though, magical friends would have probably ended crown. Alright, let's go ahead and try to finish off the Lua now. Uh, Milim should get... Ooh, I don't know, if, if Milim misses here, maybe we can get a Wahaha. Of course we don't miss. <laughs> No wahaha for us. Hey, hey! Whoa! Hey! Yo, they scammed me. My crowd's gone. You guys saw that, right? They just... Had, the, the match ended, I won, and then they killed my crowd. So that, that's unfortunate. Also, DJB doesn't get to cut here, but... And we crit the Senya. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, let us go for an S3, though. Oh my god, we crit the Senya twice?! Hey, we, can, we don't get to use Awunka here! Um, right, you know what, let's go ahead and just push up the team. Let's push up the Ed and the Arunka. Uh, I think what I'll do is... I'll just use Arunka's S3. I think I can just kill Senya now. Should be fine. Yeah, that doesn't really... Ooh, actually, wait a minute. But I don't have an attack buff. I kind of want to go into this Lilius, though. Uh, Lilius will have it for another turn, right? She's a barrier's two turns. So let's go in on the Senya. Let's just try to kill her. This should finish her off, right, with her HP, but we get to see how much damage she does. Okay, not a huge amount of damage uh, when the opponent doesn't have a barrier, but that's perfectly fine, right? I think that's balanced in her design. Uh, if there's a barrier, they get super punished. If there's no barrier, it's like kind of average damage. Uh, this Ron hit an RNL, so that's fantastic. We're about to get hit by another S3. Hopefully, Ed survives. Ooh, Ed barely survives here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap this Ron. I'll try to finish him off. And I want Arunka to go into this uh, Lilius, and whether I miss or not should not really matter, right? Let's go for it. She penetrates the defense. I have pen set. No attack buff. Oh, can she actually do it? Oh, that was good damage though. Not quite getting the kill there, but that is perfectly fine. Alright, there we go. Finished off the Lilius. Not too bad. We have one more um, attempt at using her though, and this time instead of trying her out against an Aiden against Evasion, we're going to try to put her up against the meta defense. Alright, for our third and final match, we're going to be going up against the bottom tower here, and yeah, it is pretty much identical to the first tower that we fought. However, we're going to switch some things around. For the first team, we're going to go aggro, because I know you guys have been loving seeing that on the channel. Uh, we're going to pick Ahmed here as our buffer for the first unit that's going to go, which is going to be Opsig. We're going to push Opsig up and give her the attack buff, hopefully a crit damage buff. She is on portrait, she's on a damage build, 240 speed, and her goal is to snipe down the Bellion. If we can snipe down the Bellion with an S2, then we will be in pretty good shape because Zahawk's S3 should be able to kill the Aiden. Uh, that is gonna be the goal there, and we'll see how it plays out. We'll just leave Arwell for the end, and hopefully we'll just be able to chip her down with our two DPSs. For the bottom team, we have C, Lilius, Shu, and Senya, and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Arunka pre-buff was okay into this type of team. If you really wanted to use her, if you gave her some insane gear, she definitely worked. But, 
Post buff, I think she is going to annihilate the Shu and Senya defense, especially because see, Lolis gives barriers and Senya gives barriers too. Now, I changed Arunka to, from Little Queen's Huge Crown to the Uberius's Tooth, uh, just for more consistency with her S1s. You know, we might nuke the Senya early, who knows? And uh, if that happens, then we don't have access to barrier, uh, and um, we'll be kind of in trouble. But the goal is to get rid of the Shu first, because she's the most dangerous unit. And uh, Rowana is going to be here to keep us alive. We're going to use Senya's counter buff against her, right? Just kind of heal with Celestine and get uh, the heals from Rowana's um, uh, passive there. So let's jump into it and see how it goes. I'm pretty excited for both teams, actually. I just really want to see Arunka's damage on that shoe. Uh, <laughs> I want to see it. I really do. All right, let's go ahead and put the skill null on everybody here. Just to keep everyone safe from an incoming attack. Go ahead and boost up the op sig. Get that extra damage there. Uh, no, oh boy, no crit damage buff, but that is fine. With an attack buff, let's go in onto the Rebellion, finish her off, and I don't actually want to hit uh, the S3. Let's just go for an S1 here. Ooh, that's actually a lot of damage. Uh, let's replenish the attack buff on the Opsig, even though she's going to get stunned by this Arwell. Uh, and let's go into the Aiden. Should be able to kill with an attack buff here. I know there is some damage mitigation. Ooh, actually, ooh, that was pretty close. The Arwol soaking up so much damage. But we managed to finish off both of them, actually. That was pretty satisfying. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. All right, this C. Lilius has negative effect uh, effectiveness, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's go with an S3 into the shoe. Now, the problem is I don't have an attack buff. But let's see what we can do with this regardless, right? Did we need the Little Queen's uh, huge crown to kill? Oh, maybe we did. Maybe we did. Not enough to kill without an attack buff, but hey, that is good knowledge to have. We will try to chip down this uh, shoe with our Uberius's tooth now, and then we can try and take advantage of the Senya afterwards. All right, so let's go ahead and pop the S3 first. And we'll use pilots to go ahead and cleanse off this Arunka. Uh, I'm gonna go for an S3 here. Let's go right into this Shu. See, Lily's will be dual attacking, so it will push up our team, which is quite nice. Got that defense buff, which is good too. Okay, so with Arunka, let's go in onto the Shu. With the extra attack, nice extra attack. There you go, so Shu goes down, Arunka's still proving to have use outside of her S3, as long as you have Uberius's Tooth. Uh, let's go for the Senya here, now look at that, Celestine, big heals, Rowana healing some more with that passive on the counter. So it's a really good combo, Rowana Pylos makes uh, the Shu-Senya matchup pretty trivial. Unfortunately... <laughs> Unfortunately, the uh, pilots actually stripped the counter buff off of this Senya, but you know what, let's go ahead and just soul burn with our Arunka, and that's some pretty decent damage. Half the health gone from Lilius there. Uh, Arunka has one more turn until we get our um, S3 back, so let's just keep hitting this C Lilius. Nice extra attack again. No bleeds though, find that a little strange. But let's go for this now. Okay, so with the C Lilius popping off her S3, she will probably S1 afterwards. Yep, there we go. And I need to replenish that Senya's uh, barrier. So I'm going to just attack her and see if she'll pop off. Or not. <laughs> Perhaps it wasn't reset yet. Okay, so there we go. She reset the barrier. That's quite nice. Uh, I am going to use, ooh, Arunka's attack downed. Can I actually do this? Uh, let's find out, right? What's the harm? Can I attack down Arunka? Kill a barrier? See, Lilius, how much damage would we do? <laughs> That's pretty good damage, not going to lie. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go for an S3. We've got to cleanse our attack down and give ourselves a little barrier here. There we go. Uh, and I'm gonna get some Celestine healing for my Pylos. 
Okay, uh, there's no more barrier on the Senya right now, so let's just go for a Soul Burn, S1. Get some bleeds in there, get some damage in there. Ooh, actually, that's pretty good. Can we get a barrier here? Oh, there we go. Grace of the Battlefield procking again, so now we get to see one more Arunka S3 before this ends, which is such a treat. Wow, they definitely uh, redeemed her with this buff, because look at that. 18k damage without an attack buff and without even a damage artifact. Uh, no Little Queen's huge crown uh, in this match here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of Arunka in the comments down below. Where have you been using her? Whether it be Arena, Guild War, RTA even? Right? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Love to hear them. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic 7 content. And until next time, take care.